Well, hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of How to Build a Village. This is Mythical Sausage. How is everybody doing, man? We're back again doing another awesome tutorial, another addition to this village. And today we're going to be doing the most requested, I think, well, really one of the top requested ones is the church. And it's going to be so much fun. I'm ready. And if you guys like the little cinematic at the beginning, we've done a lot of progress in this village so far. And the church is going to be an awesome addition to it. So we got a couple things left to do to add to this village before it's all said and done. We got uh, some uh, stables. We're gonna do a little small stable. We're gonna do a library and we're gonna do a keep and a barracks. And yes, there's not a lot of space left, but trust me, we're gonna fit it in nicely. After we're all done, we're gonna have a world download and it's gonna be amazing. You guys get to walk around in this world. And you know what? There's a lot of Easter eggs in this world. We have a lot of other builds. There's one right there. We did a fantasy style one. Uh, I believe our ravine town little section is up over there behind us. And we got a bunch of builds scattered around here. Even our cave one, I believe is right back here behind me, behind my head right there. But you know what? Let's get this started right now with our church. All right, here we go. These are the dimensions we're going to be working with. We're going to build it all up right now together, and it's going to be really, really cool. This is really different uh, compared to the church stuff done in the past, so hopefully this comes out really, really cool. i got a feeling, though, it's going to come out nice, but these are the materials we're going with. A bunch of the stone, so we got stone brick, cobble, some regular stone, cobble stairs. We're going to bring a couple other stones along the way, and then the spruce family. We're going to be doing that for our roof, adding a little bit of oak log for beamage on the inside. It's going to be awesome, so we're going to go with similar, similar styles that we've been doing along the way, but you know what? Let's get it started. Let me show you how we're doing this. So uh, let's start building it right now. I'm just going to go with a layer of uh, just regular stone brick for now. And then we're going to texture along the way. I'm going to let you know how tall I want these to go. So this is uh, the plan. So let's start right here on this corner. Uh, actually, right here in this middle bit. So let's just go up one right here with stone brick. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Let's turn this corner. This is a one. So two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Then turn this corner. This is a one. So two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Turn this corner. This is an extra. Well, this is a one. So two, three, four. Then from this corner right here, this is a two, three, four. We're mirroring that. And then we're gonna do a little five by five box in between. So from this, let's just do let's just go out this corner. So let's go one, two, three, one, two. And then just do one, two, three, four, five, five by five box. <laughs> just a five by five box. This is how you know it's center right there. So we have this little way around. Perfect. So you can take that part out. Then over here on every little corner, we're going to put a block here and here. We're going to put a block here and here. Give it a space of three. We're going to put one. Give it another space of three. One. Space of three. One right there. One in that corner. And again, one in this corner and this corner. Just like that. Now, let's just remove this little bit. We're going to have our door to get in on this side. Also, it's going to be mirrored. So we're going to put another door on this side. So that goes in. Over here, we're going to put a uh, window, window, window. And it's going to look pretty awesome. We're going to put some windows on this side. But for now, these are your primary dimensions for this church. Let's start lifting up blocks. So what I'm thinking about doing right here, let's start on this little corner bit. Right here on this first block we place. I'm just going to go up on this one another. One, two three four that's it so right here it's a one two three and four well technically five from the bottom but it's an extra four on top so leave that there for now we're gonna i'll be moving that up in a second but for now let's just do all these four ups right here so let's go on this block so space of one two three and let's go up one two three and four just like that mirroring that another space of three one two three and four another space of three one two three and four Let's go to this corner as well, back on this end. One, two, three, and four. Just like that, looking pretty cool. And now let's go right on this corner. One, two, three, and four. One, two, three, and four. This corner, one, two, three, and four. One, two, three, and four. Just like that. And over here, again, one, two, three, and four. One, two, three, and four. Just like that. And now we're gonna go ahead and in the center bits, I'm gonna put all cobblestone and we're gonna put smooth stone as we go along so let's just go up here one two three and four one two three and four give it a little upside down stair right at this level so give it a two gapper to get inside and then i'm gonna go with a single one here putting a little window on that now over here let's go up one two three and four one two three and four Give it a one, two, three, four, skipping that gap, and one, two, three, and four, skipping that gap. So we're gonna put a triple window on that right there. Now again, one, two, three, and four here, one, two, three, four here, one, two, three, four here, another one here, another four here, and another four here. So we're gonna put windows in the middle gaps right there. Then let's put a stair here, here, and here. Now I'm gonna go ahead and put a stair here, here, 
and there. So we have those little spots right there for the windows. Okay, let's do it again on this side, repeating exactly what we did over there. So one, two, three, and four, 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 and four. And now let's put stairs on this, this, and this. Actually, let's put them over here too. We did put them over here. So let's go here, here, and here. And don't worry about the top bits. I'm gonna make these a little taller. So leave that there for now. So back over here, we're going up one, two, three, and four. One, two, three, and four. One, two, three, four here. One, two, three, four here. Here. Another one here. Mirroring this one. And now mirroring this one. Now for this one, leave this alone. Leave this little piece right there just by itself for now. Now, on this one, let's put a upside down, well, regular stair here and an upside down stair right there. So a two gapper on that one. Actually, let's do it over here as well. The same thing we did there by giving it a two block gap, a stair, and then close that off right there on that side. So we have this looking pretty good. It's being mirrored so far, looking awesome. Now, next up, I'm gonna lift this up one more time on every one of these, and we're gonna do a little cross right there. We're gonna go this way with that regular stone brick. Now, I'm gonna do this, watch. We're gonna put right here. Let's put one up one more right here. I'm gonna take it up, and we're gonna go gradually up one at a time, just like this, until we get to the middle, right about there, and lift that up one time. That is awesome. Now, let's just lift this up again, all the way to the top. That goes all the way to the top. Now, I'm gonna drop one down, down and down right there and then i'm gonna put a stair here here and there so that'll be our stairs going up and we're doing that nice little pattern window right there let's do it again on this side so let's go right inside here we're gonna go up one here here well match that <laughs> let's go up a little stair pattern one at a time on every angle until we get back to the middle right about here then let's lift that let's take that down Take that down, take that, and then we're gonna do our little bit of a stair detail. So here, here, and there. And then we have that mirrored to the other side. Perfect, <laughs> looking really, really cool. Now, for this one, I'm gonna do a little bit of a cross beam. We're gonna cross, well, not really a beam, it's a, it's a stone brick, but that's fine. So we're crossing that. <laughs> and then we're gonna go ahead and go all the way around. And we're gonna go all the way around this one, all the way around this one, and go there. And then that continues on this part right there so that everything is looking pretty cool we got that one layer on the top looking pretty awesome now next up i'm going to start raising one more time so we're going to go up here 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 every one on there going all the way around one more time let's go all the way up one more time right there and leaving that spot right on that end now i'm going to put one piece here one piece here like that then watch this we're going to grab our stairs i'm going to put a stair lining here here, there, there, slabs in the middle, just like that. And then I'm gonna come up with it just like this with our full blocks meeting up in the center and repeating this one more time. And we're gonna make it very clean like we normally been doing in this village, just like this. And then at the end, we're gonna go ahead and break that up and make it all run down kind of like we did there and over there. But for now, let's make it clean. So full blocks going all the way to the top here and then clean stairs going straight up, just like so. And meeting up right there, oh, no, then slab right there, perfect. Looking good for now, I love it. And don't worry about these little bits on the outside, we're gonna be doing some details in a second right now, but give, let's finish off this part. So for this one, let's go ahead and go one more time here, we're gonna go with stairs going all the way up, just like so, just like so. Let's do it again on this side, so stairs going this way, connecting here, connecting there, and connecting right here. Now for this part, let's lift this tower up right now. So we're gonna go up. So right now, if you notice, this is a one, two, three, four, five, six, right? We're gonna take it up another one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. For now, it's looking good. Then let's go ahead and cover this whole thing up one layer here one so this is a one two three four five one two three four five cover that in there and then we're going to do a little cross right there that's looking cool but then let's replace you and you so we have a little bit of a bigger stair pattern up here so this one has a two gapper in the middle this one has a one two three gapper in that section right there perfect now let's come over here on this side i'm just going to cover this whole thing up all the way to the top just like this and then we're going to cross that this one as well is going to get the same treatment so we're going to go all the way back like this cross that there 
And then this one as well is gonna get that whole same thing all the way. And then we're gonna cross this one as well here. Now for this little bit, I'm gonna go ahead and put a block there, a block there. And then we're just gonna come in here. Let me do a little bit of a placeholder right here really fast just so it could be easier to place these stairs. And then we can get rid of that in a second. But for now, we have this cool little bit. I like that, that came out really, really cool. Now, next up, I'm gonna go ahead and do a little nice castle -y bit top to this guy. So for this one, we're gonna grab stairs and we're gonna grab some of the stone brick stairs. And we're gonna do this. Upside down stairs on every other one, like so. So we get all the way around like this. Then I'm gonna grab some slabs. We're gonna put some stone slabs right here like this, going all the way around. Oop, like so, perfect. Then I'm gonna grab four blocks and we're gonna go up right here. We're gonna go up one, two, one, two. Every other one is gonna go up two, like this. Like that, and like that. Every other one is gonna get it. And then we're gonna put some upside down stairs on those. And this is just gonna be for now, we're just gonna do the stone bricks going around like so. Around like so. And that's looking good. Then on the tippy tops here, we're gonna put stairs facing outwards like this. And then we're gonna come back and we're gonna texture. But for now, that is looking really, really cool. So we have this cool little look to it, looking awesome. Then one more little bit of detail I wanna add is slabs. We're gonna put slabs right here on this end, so just on the top part of that block right there, going all the way around. So that's looking really, really awesome. So we have that little bit looking cool, right? Isn't that cool? I like that bit right there. Then next up, let's do some details. So I'm gonna go ahead and come in here with some smooth stone, or regular stone, <laughs> and come in here and do a little bit of texture to break up this, all this cobblestone, okay? So this is gonna be random. Let's just speed this part up. I'm just gonna come in here and randomly place some regular stone around here. All right, there we go. So we got a little bit of texture going over here. I added some smooth stone where the cobble was. I also added some smooth stone where the stone bricks were just to break that up a little bit. We did some on the top too and all the way around. And the texture is looking really, really cool. So that's looking nice. Now, next up, let's work on the roof here. And I wanna add some details to this roof. So how about we do this? Let's add some walls. Uh, maybe a wall here. Every other one, I'm gonna put a wall. Maybe a wall there, this wall there. Maybe add a little bit of the cobble wall too in certain spots. I think maybe, let's put another one down here, a little cobble wall right there to mix it up. Then on the spots we uh, didn't put the walls, so let's put some stairs, maybe one here, let's do a smooth stone one there, let's do another one of these, and another one of those right there, so every other one gets it, that looks good. Then let's add some of these uh, spruce fences, and then some iron bar on top like that, just to break it up. Oh, that looks good. Actually, for this one, let's get rid of that. Let's go up one more and let's take a wall up. One, two, three, four, and do a little bit of a cross right there. Oh, that looks good, nice. Now, let's grab some andesite, some of the polished, and I'm gonna go down right here. Let's put a polished here, let's put a polished there. Let's put one here and there. Let's break that up a little bit, that looks good. Now, I'm gonna raise this up one more there, and let's raise this up one more here. And let's put some stairs, so maybe a stair here, stair there, let's move that around, stair here, stair there. And that is looking awesome. What if we add another little polished right about here and one more down below? I think that's gonna make it look pretty good. That is popping up, oh, that looks nice. There we go, and that just adds a little more detail. Now, you know what, that is looking awesome. Let's repeat this thing on the other side real quick. All right, that's looking really, really awesome. Check that out. Now, let's do some more details. So how about we lift these walls up as well? So I'm gonna put polished on this bit, polished there. Let's put a polished here, put it polished right there. Another one on oop, that side, there we go. And then let's add those stairs on top of these. So let's put a stair like that, maybe a little regular stone on this one. And that is looking pretty awesome. I'm in love with what's happening right now. Now, next up, uh, let's go ahead and seal this little bit up. So for this one, it's gonna go up on the corner like so. Uh, I'm gonna go with some stairs on these corners like this. So this is just gonna be for looks. I don't really wanna have anything up here. So something like that. And then we're gonna seal this up right here. I'm gonna go with our log. I'm gonna put a log right down the middle right here. Another one here. Oop. And another one here. I'm gonna put some slabs right here, and this is gonna be of our spruce. I'm gonna cover that up here, here, and there. I'm gonna put a little bell 
hanging from the inside part. But for now, it's looking pretty good. Now, next up, let's break up this roof. Now, for this roof breakup job, I'm gonna go with some full blocks, just like we have here, and we're gonna just randomly scatter some of these. So, uh, again, you can leave it just like this, looking pretty good, or you're gonna break it up like this. So I'm gonna go randomly in here, and just bring it in. Uh, something like that is looking awesome. Maybe another one right there. Oh, that's looking good. Let's do another one on here. I'm gonna go maybe two, maybe a one here, maybe a single one there, and that is looking awesome. Uh, up here, maybe a full block. Let's do another double full right there, maybe a full block on that side. And I'm gonna come in here and just add a little more. So maybe a double single one there, maybe one in the middle, one on that corner, maybe a double coming around like so and this is all personal preference but i'm liking this right here now for this one we're going to also come up right here with walls there and we're going to do some walls over here actually let's mix some cobble and maybe a little cobble one Ooh, right on this side that is looking good and then all those spots we're going to put walls uh and our fences with our iron bars on top with these that we just placed now for this one also gonna go with some stairs facing inwards like that actually let's mix this one up perfect let's also do it on this side there we go and we're also gonna sneak a couple on the inside part over here and one right there you really can't see that but you know what's there <laughs> and that is matching up really really cool and it's looking really nice now on top of these i'm gonna put some slabs so i'm gonna go maybe with a slab here and a slab here just to break that up and add a little more detail and that's looking really, really nice. Look at that. <laughs> is that cool? I think it's looking pretty cool. Now, next up, let's add some glass around here. So I'm thinking just a regular old clear glass. So I'm gonna put glass here. One, two, three, four. One, two, one, two. And we go, you can go with stained glass too if you guys want to do different colors. But it's gonna go with simple, clean, white glass. Oh, no, uh, clear glass, not even white. Clear glass, just like that all the way around. Also on this side looking pretty cool now next up i'm gonna go ahead and add the interior flooring so let me do this one real real quickly all right here we go on the inside for the flooring i just went regular oak and making it really really cool uh over here we're just gonna lift this up so i'm gonna go up one here on this side and i'm gonna put two stairs here i'm gonna put a lectern right in the middle you can use a lectern or you can go old school and put yourself a um an enchanting table but i'm going with a lectern right there which is really really cool that is awesome and then we have this little area uh so i'm gonna put some chairs i'm gonna put two chairs back here uh and it's looking awesome over here i'm gonna hang uh some stuff so let's hang some lights or, or no, you know what? Let's make this into a bell. Let's go down one, two, three. Uh, and I'm gonna hang a bell. We can't really hang it from this, so I'm gonna have to go ahead and lift, uh, well, add a little bit of, uh, of a different block. Actually, for this one, what if we use, let's use the polished andesite. Let's put that right in the middle. Let's put the bell right there. And this looks cool. You can actually put a little rope if you want to going all the way down like this. You kind of ring that there. But uh, if anything, if you have the debug stick, you can actually get rid of this little thing on the side. But you know what? I'm just going to leave it down. I'm going to leave it like that. We can actually reach and smack it, I think. Yep, there we go. We can smack it. Uh, so I'm just going to leave that right there. Uh, if anything, if you want to add a little bit of details, maybe add a little bit of buttons all the way around. And that might look pretty cool. So maybe a little button all the way around like so. Uh, and this looks awesome. Right there. A little bell hanging down. Let's do a one, two, three here. Let's put a one, two right up against the wall. We can put a one, two up against there. Maybe another two, maybe another three and another two. And we have that. And if you even if you're sitting here, you can kind of see the preacher or whatever, or the priest, whatever's there. Um, so yeah, this is good from all angles and that's giving you some space in between. Next thing that I want to add is a little bit of a arch right here. So what if we do something very simple something like that just to add a little bit more detail to that and we can break some of this up since it's like pure stone all the way going up on the corners maybe breaking it up a little bit washing it down like that that looks pretty good that looks awesome now let's do some details on the top here what if we do some beams right thinking about a beam maybe right here so one two three four five another one here one two three four five and another one in the middle uh and then this one can go right here one two three four and that's four because that one's yeah there <laughs> so that's looking good let's have some stairs here uh maybe a stair here a stair here there there kind of where the beam is right uh and then we could do like a little bit right there maybe a little trap door going around like so giving it a little bit of detail going around like that looking like it's giving it some kind of support around where that beam starts and then you could do another one right here on this side and another one on this side that's looking cool and another uh maybe a stair facing down a stair facing down on that stair here stair here 
and a little stair here, a little stair right there going all the way around, and that's looking pretty cool. I like that. I'm gonna go ahead and put a little barrel right on that center bit, another one on that center bit, and another one on this center bit. By doing that, then we can add some more details, maybe a little bit almost like looking like this is like a rope going down right about here. We can add some hanging lights right there. So let's grab a lantern here, lantern there, lantern right there on this side. And that is looking pretty good. I like that. That's looking awesome. Uh, if you want, we can even do some kind of connection in between each two. Uh, if we do that, it'll probably look something like so. Let's grab a gate in the middle just to add a little bit more detail uh, and have a little bit of a cooler connection. Something like that. A little placeholder. A little placeholder right there. That kind of connects to that. And if you want, we can even add one more to go there, one more to go there. And that's looking pretty good. Uh, if you want to add even more details, maybe a little bit of a trap door lining on top right there. And another little trap door lining right there. And then maybe one more right on that one. And that kind of continues going down this direction. Looks like a nice little line. Slabs here. Little slab there. This one we're not going to need any because it's going to be connected to that little bit. Then we can add some trap doors right about here. And that's looking good. It gives you a cool little transition between the two. I broke everything right here. So let's do another little with a trap door right there, there, and there. Uh, over here, we can do, do another little lining of trap going all the way down like so. Now, in between this, we can go ahead and put a little more detail to this. So what if we add some stairs? Uh, let's go with this right here. Let's do a little stair going up, stair going up like that. And that is looking awesome. Let's do another little stair in that little center bit and another little stair in that center bit up here we could put one more stair on that corner one here and then on the tippity tippity top let's grab a log and take it all the way down like so all the way down like so and connect that bit to there and that gives you this little connection from one side to the next and let's put some trap doors here a little trap door up here and that is about it. That is looking really, really cool. And we got all those details on the top. And that is looking really, really awesome. I love that. What do you guys think? Is this cool? I think that's pretty cool. Now, next bit we want to do is come over here and give it a little bit of detail in between these little pews. So for that, let's go ahead and grab some item frames. And I'm going to put item frames on the sides of every one of these stairs. So here and there. No, not there, but there. <laughs> and just put them on the sides going all the way down like that. And then this is the only thing we can really put in connection um, between these two because nothing else really would fit on that side. And then on these sides, we can grab some of the stairs and put them sideways, kind of twisted looking like, not like that, but <laughs> like that. So let's go ahead and add these little stairs. Nope, like that, going all the way around. All right, next little bit, let's add a little bit of uh, bush. I want to add a little bit of greenery. So right here, we're going to put two composters, one on each side, and just go up by two. Uh, also, we can just, if anything, go in here and give it a little bit of that compost in. So you can see that soil on the bottom. So we got that pods all looking pretty good right there. That's good. Uh, and then you know what? I want to add a little bit of carpet. So I'll put just a row going here and a row going back like that. So let's put a cauldron here, cauldron over here water on each side looking awesome so that's looking pretty good and that's looking awesome maybe uh, we could add on this side some uh detail so what if we put a stair here a stair here upside down so we got ourselves a little bench right here or a little little table so when you walk in maybe you can have some candles there or something <laughs> we can do some stuff and then let's put some candles here so maybe a couple candles kind of like right there add some trap doors maybe another little bit of candle on top like so and that looks pretty good. Let's do another one here. Another little bit of candles here. Another little bit of candles on the top. Like that. Oh, like that. <laughs> so that look, that's looking pretty awesome. So this is looking good. Maybe up here add a little more carpet actually. Right on the top. So kind of this carpet goes in a little row in the middle. Right there. Looking pretty good. I like that. What do you guys think? Is that cool? I think it looks pretty good. Uh, we can also add, if you want, a little bit more carpet. Just to add a little more detail. Maybe a little row. Kind of going down the middle it could be any color i'm gonna go with black 
And it kind of just goes straight up like that. That looks awesome. All right, now really quick, let me add a little more detail on the outside here just to give it a little bit more. So I did a little bit of terraforming also, so it's looking really, really good as far as terraforming. Adding some barrels, adding some bushes, stuff like that. Added a couple benches right here, but I want to add a tiny little well, super tiny well, so I want to add it with you guys. So I'm just going to go with a four corner bit right here of just the polished and then we're gonna go with some stairs a couple mixes of regular stairs uh well cobble stairs and uh st stone stairs <laughs> so we're gonna put that also grab some walls here real fast uh let's just go with cobble wall for now i'm just gonna go up one two one two one two one and two and super simple uh just a stair pattern going all the way around tiny little well we needed one in here as well a lot of people were asking for one so there you go tiny as well possible water ready to go and that's it super tiny stair now i have these two fences right here pretty much at this level and this level where the glass is so watch this i want to put a little bit of an overhang so i'm gonna go with a double right here double 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 right there come back down double and a double so we're doing that give it a little bit of an overhang and i love the way that looks let's do one on this side so i'm gonna go right here with the fence here and here and then we're gonna go double 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 in here and bring it back down just to add a little bit more detail and that's looking awesome so we got all this really cool bush over here i added a couple flower boxes uh, just to break it up a little bit and that's looking really awesome now one thing i want to do is i want to come over here i want to give some stairs right here let's do a little bit of an overhang bit right there and right there and that looks cool and let's add some slabs on the bottom end right there just to add a little bit more detail and that's looking really really cool we can even make some of these into like full blocks but you know what i'm just gonna leave them as stairs on the bottom just to make it look cool on this side i'm gonna do the same thing but just right here one two three and then one two three right here that is looking really cool now another thing i want to add you see how every once in a while we have uh every two we have these um andesite bits i want to do some over here as well following the same pattern so let's go right here every other one going up to the top to there and do another one on this side just to give you that little bit of detail just to make it pop even more and on that side you're not going to see it but on this side you see it right it looks cool now a little bit more detail we could do is right here uh let's do another fence right about here oh no no that's not a fence right here and here and then let's go with a little bit of an overhang right there let's do another one as well here so fence fence and then we're gonna go here here and there just to give it a little bit of an overhang also on that bit and then you know what i noticed here we can actually fit a window here and a window here if we wanted to you don't have to but i think it might look pretty cool so let's do a little triple over here let's do a little bit of a triple right here uh and then we're gonna grab our stair and put one there i guess do one also here put a stair and let's go ahead and do the same thing so two fences here two fences here and boom 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 and it just adds just a little bit more detail you don't have to but i think adding it just gives it a little bit more to look at it looks pretty cool right there and another little glass right there and it, it serves no purpose it just looks pretty cool adding a window and that little bit of overhang right there and this adds to it you see that doesn't that add that looks really really cool all right there we have it it's looking so good what do you guys think of the church oh this is awesome we have so much detail all around here i love that beat up look on the roof it's looking really awesome we got that nice little tower bit as well we got a nice little path going around here look at that that is looking so awesome let's go on the inside so with the shade is on it's looking so good look at that roof that ceiling uh we have uh, also put a little bit of glowstone right there so this part is like all illuminated with the book right there looking pretty awesome but i love that ceiling though look at that uh and also yeah, i added a couple books here i took some candles out so i had kind of like a little reading books here uh really cool on that side uh with the little tiny well that we have here and it's looking awesome we can still sneak in a couple more bills i think you know the library i might push this wall back a little bit more so we can have that library there and i think when we do the keep i'm gonna do like a little bit of a path maybe a little secondary gate that goes outside here we could do a nice little keep uh barracks looking thing but there you go <laughs> we are done with the church hopefully you guys did enjoy this this was so much fun to build Oh, let me know what you think about it. Let me know what you want to see next. So we do the the library, uh, the library or the the barrack uh, keep looking thing. I think we're doing the library next though. I think the library next will be awesome, and then we'll finish off strong with a very very cool keep. And at the end, I'll go ahead and I'll populate this place with some custom trees, a little stable. I think I'm gonna put the little stable right here in this corner as well, uh, and then plop a bunch of villagers down here so they can have fun, walk around, and make this place look more alive. We'll probably save that for the last episode. But thank you 
again so much for watching you guys have been amazing i'll catch you on the next episode goodbye